Hello, welcome to Furious Driving, and today we're going to do one of the most difficult jobs there is on a Mercedes S204, a W204 estate, changing the number plate light bulbs on the station wagon tailgate, which there's not a single guy to on the internet. We're here at Stevenson's Mercedes Benz, who are going to help us out with what is basically a very simple job, but there's no guide to this on the internet, and it's only easy if you know what you're doing, because if you pull it in the wrong direction, you will break bits. So let's jump in and see how we do this. So to start off, very simply, there are two covers on the handles either side. Just pry this down, and underneath you'll find two T20 screws under each one. Unscrew them. Then you pry off this panel here. So it's just a, that, it's as tight as that. That's where I got stuck before, because I thought there's no way you'd pull this out. Yeah. So th these ones actually go into clips in here, and you've got these tight clips. So one, two, three, and four, and that one just slides. This one's just a straight pull off. Okay, and that one is and a, these ones are just a, a pinch. pinch one. And these bits are top. Oh, wow. That's it. That's came off slightly using that. <laughs> um, so on the, on the leading edge, um, you've got these clips. Oh, okay, yeah. Just four of those. Uh, important thing when it goes back in, is these slides. It's almost worth getting a shot. So you have to push it up like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got access in there to the number plate light, which is just through from here. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So that goes inside there and find it by touch. We always change these in pairs, because even if one's gone, chances are the other one will follow fairly shortly. That they are polarity sensitive. Oh, okay, so you've got to put them right around. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, but sometimes they... Um, because of the way the car senses on circuit and, and uh, resistance, if you don't get it right, you've got to reset the car because oh. otherwise it will never work. Nothing's happening right now. See, nothing's working. So that's the wrong way around then. So it could be that I've just got, by chance, both of them ah. the wrong way. Okay, yep. Right. Okay, yeah, polarity sensitive. They, were, they went in quite quickly. It yeah. hasn't put a warning on the back. Oh, okay, so we've got away with it this time. So these now now last longer. And thankfully, these ones haven't thrown up a warning about voltage, which does, does sometimes happen. Again? So just to confirm this was working without the engine running. We built in, we disconnected a fog light bolt, just to prove the point of whether these LEDs, that some, will put faults in the system. But these ones are half the good circuitry board and, and haven't. So they are designed to give the right resistance so it doesn't upset the car's bulb monitoring system. So we'll put that bulb back in and double check it. Excellent. Many people do is they forget to reset the car. Ah, uh, okay. So once the bulb's out, they'll put a bulb in it, but sometimes you need to reset just on the return button on the steering wheel, take the key out, sometimes lock it, Wait for the dash to go to sleep, put this one on quite quickly, unlock it, dash then comes back on, ignition on, lights on manually, this is that half the service one. And now we are all cleared. Um, a little fiddly, as you can imagine. Yeah. But it's nice to have the bulb working. So <laughs> you, you can see what see you're doing now. You're going a little bit clearer. The thing with the LEDs, if you are putting them in, is they are slightly longer. Oh, okay. And you've got the how can I say it, the, the fragileness of a, of a small PCB board. Oh, right. Yeah. So you can't just welly it in, and no. you, you've got to be a bit careful yeah. with it. So it's you, luckily there is enough room, but you just need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah. Um, that they go in. It's really, really quite hard to see what you're doing. It does make you wonder why they didn't just allow you to do it by taking the, the chrome plinth off the yeah. back. So those take just a quarter turn once they're lined up and then you're away. And then you can reassemble 
everything back as before. Oh, lovely. Both on, nice and bright. Excellent. All we've got to do is line up these lugs. And these ones down the back. Oops. Which have gone in nicely, you can see over oh, the top. Oh yeah, so they yeah. scoop over the top. Um, we'll probably put one up to put those in, and then we'll come to the bit here oh, okay. to line up. That yeah, goes in. Sure. And then likewise around there. Uh, the orange one is fine, it's the, it's the oh, okay. metal ones. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Just, just to make sure those... Just there. Uh, those all need to be lined up with their recipient holes. And that lines up just there. All good. Excellent. No rattles. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And this then clips back in again as well. That is all the way around. One plug. Okay. Clickety click, lights come on. Push for the, the buttons. It's all connected. Uh, and then a case of lining these ones up before clipping these ones on. Here. Oh, sorry. But sometimes uh, okay. just, just a little push in with your finger. And then you're in there and away. Cool. Job done then. Just, just the screws in there. This is the T20. And we've just snapped back in. Job done. Sometimes if the bit's been open for a while, sometimes it takes two, two clicks. Okay, just a double One tap on the button. Up, oh, okay. <laughs> Buttons work, lights work. Job done, excellent. So thanks to the guys here at Stevenson's, we've now got working tailgate lights again, no more warning lights on the dashboard every time we turn the car on, and they're functioning LEDs which will last probably longer than the car now. So yes, this is an easy job, but you must remember, pull everything in the right direction or you will wind up with shattered clips and broken plastic. But knowing what you, but knowing the right way to do it, it's an easy job. So thanks again for watching, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff, we'll see you again soon.